Navy 50 years ago. I've attended 42 rainbow annual gatherings. Greetings and welcome. My name is Tiny Toons Tumbleweed, and I'm here to present Totally High Holy Rainbow Colored Spirit Hawk of Awakened Manifestation, Part 9. A series featuring audio field recordings made at rainbow gatherings from around the world. This episode will feature many recordings from the recent 50th anniversary annual rainbow gathering located in the Medicine Bow Route National Forest in Colorado the year of the Jubilee. My aim is to share many recordings from that gathering, but also sprinkle in various older recordings from gatherings as well, as a way to reflect back, but also look ahead, if you will. 50 years is a crossroad of sorts, and even with rainbow gatherings being a global phenomenon, questions remain about where it goes from here. While that remains to be seen, it is my hope that any gatherer regardless if you've only attended one, no longer attend, or are a regular attendee, that we integrate the lessons and experiences had at Rainbow into a more fulfilling, enriching, caring, kind, and compassionate life. A random synchronistic aside, we gathered in Adams Park, where in Colorado is common to name a meadow system a park. Adams Creek flowed through Adams Park, a few miles west flows Douglas Creek. And at what gatherers called Back Gate, the end of the gathering, in some sense, is Forest Service Road 42, where supply and emergency vehicles parked. The parking at the end of the rainbow. Fans of sci-fi author Douglas Adams can probably resonate with the humorous connection here. If you don't know, well, let's just say that the meaning of life is, well, 42. Read the book series Hitchhiker's Guide to the Rainbow, uh, whoops, I mean Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe, to learn more about 42 and life, the universe, and everything. With that, we'll begin with a poem. In honor of and dedicated to my radio mentor and friend, Mikkel Graham, who sadly recently crossed the Rainbow Bridge. I'm going to read a poem by labor organizer, folk singer, and storyteller, U. Utah Phillips, called What We Need. Mikkel, who wore many hats, an audio engineer, radio host, homeless advocate, and so much more, recorded this spoken word piece. I find it very rainbow-esque. Everyone needs a nice place to live in and good food to eat that's not too expensive, and clean clothes with no holes or patches. A doctor to call, an old friend to visit, a way to get places, parties, and music, a street to walk safely, and benches to sit on with shade in the summer, and warm, friendly places to be in the winter. Some work to do that's useful to others and doesn't get boring. People to come to for all kinds of answers, and somebody checking so nobody's forgotten. Money to spend that's given and taken without feeling guilty. Love without pity, pride without anger. Everyone knows what everyone needs, but programs, laws, city councils, commissions, agencies, boroughs can't give it to us. All of us need the best in each other, and if we can find it, and if we can give it, the rest will soon follow. If we all stick together, 
we'll get what we need. Amen. Good evening, contestants. Welcome to the show. You have each been given an infinite amount of love and a limited supply of hours, minutes, and seconds to play. The object of the game is to give away as much as you can to as many other contestants as possible before the bell rings and you go home. You'll each win many prizes along the way, but winning prizes is the object of some other game. You'll have to give each prize away to win the next. And the game isn't over until everybody wins. Got it? Got Good. it. Good. Get ready. Start when you hear the sigh of lust in the darkness <laughs> and feel a sudden tug on your belly button. Good luck. I'm not a Democrat. Not a Republican, I'm not white, I'm not black, no, I'm not Indian, I'm not American, I'm not a terrorist, I'm a human. I'm not a city boy, I'm not a country man, not suburban, working three jobs to pay the rent. I'm not a billionaire, I'm not a cyborg, I'm a human. I was born on the earth, third rock from the sun, member of the Milky Way. I need water and food, shelter and love, though I wouldn't mind some chocolate in a hot tub today. I'm not a woman, I'm not a man, I'm not gay, I'm not straight, I'm not bi, I'm not trans. I like to snuggle, don't like trouble.
How did Rainbow get started? Rainbow got started when the god of rain had sex with the mother of unicorns and they had cotton candy cloud <laughs> gummy bear children. Um, aliens came and they made a big scene in front of a bunch of apes and told people to come here and then they produced a rainbow after it rained and then ever since then we just kind of uh you know kept this uh whole uh alien rainbow tradition from the way dawns of time it got started I think really it really has to do with truth. centaurs. That was the God, yeah, God was making cent. They were making centaurs in the in the in the midrash. They're they're using them as illegal unions between horses and man for war. And the milchamavos, um, all the wars that they would have, um, God decided that we shouldn't make these illegal unions of species. And the rainbow represents all the different colors um, and how they should be distinct and separate. That we don't mix. Um, so culture should be separate. Like you yes. Said, you retain, every culture retains its purity. That's right. The cultural purity allows for diversification. And we don't have one just giant brown and rainbow. We have all the different colors. And the individuality, individuality and separatism uh, makes this is all important. Well, someone once asked, why are there so many songs about rainbows? And all we're trying to figure out is where those rainbows are coming from. Well, it all started back in the sea shanty days when uh, you would have to sing a sea shanty just to go to church. And when people were all singing sea shanties in church, they were like, oh man, people are really amped up right now. They're not distracted by how depressing our religion is because we're just hi-hoing all the live long day. And then they said, you know what? We can uh, go outside and sing our sea shanty in the woods and we feel closer to God or Bob or Glob or whatever the heck you want to call it. And we're just out here now singing our shanties. You can hear one right now if you listen real hard. And then somebody said, hey, you know what would be cool if we call this thing Rainbow Gathering? That'd be tight. And that's how it started. Um, the stars fell down onto the earth and plants bloomed 
with the star's magic into rainbow flowers. I think there were some cops that wanted to control society, so they made a story about why a rainbow relates to Rainbow's Ark, and then some people wanted to change it to uh, something to do with gays. Uh, cultural appropriation of Tiny Camp. When Rainbow got started, once the Jackson 5 were really up and going, they uh, had a couple performances. Um, Outside and there were rainbows and people were like, well, this is the, just the greatest thing ever, you know, let's have a gathering and bring Tito and Michael and the whole family out, you know, every year uh, to play some music for us and celebrate. Rainbow got started. Oh, it, oh, it all started with the unicorns and the horses. So the, the horses and the unicorns, they both had sex and then they created like this like big rainbow thing. And then other people were like, "Ooh, I want to join the unicorns and the and the horses and stuff." Yeah, it, it was a, it was a good start. Um, okay, so a long, 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 long time ago, there was a fairy prince and an ogre, and they weren't getting along very well. But they decided to have all their friends get together, and then that's how they got to get along together really well. And so that's how Rainbow started. It was a pro-life advocacy group that used to go camping twice a year, then it kind of snowballed from there. Dr. Brad Microvibe Banlin proposed, organized, and emceed the first convention in 1972. Uh, a bunch of people were sitting around a lake, and they were like, this seems like a good spot to uh, start a big wrestling match. And uh, they proceeded to uh, organize the large wrestling match. Well, er everybody pretty much knows that that started out with a small group of uh, theatrical performers in a high school. And they gathered in a field and put on a, uh, a performance uh, celebrating the springtime. And, uh, and a rainbow happened. And... That's how they started Rainbow. I mean, that's the actual, everybody will tell you something else, but it, that's the actual story. In 1971, a couple hippies were on the highway. They saw a brand new plastic child changing table in a bathroom. They had sex on it. It broke. They got angry. They went to the woods. It was born in the imagination of a a group of tiny campers who had been gathering in different locations around the world and they decided that the world even though it is big they wanted to create a small collective of individuals that could come together uh, to to really illustrate that it's a small flat world uh, a long time ago there were people who saw a rainbow in the sky and they were like wow I really want to be a part of that and so they made the rainbow obviously
your existence in the most brilliant way you've come to realize and use all your pain for something beautiful and your insanity for something wise don't despise all the foolish ones for they know not what they do the only one that you can do anything about is you so be well do what's right don't make compromises that turn out deadly and open your eyes you're only here in this moment it's the only place you'll ever be. 
It's the only chance in all existence for you to be what you're going to be. So be well and don't look back because you're going somewhere that never existed before. And the you that you thought you were is not coming back. So relax and be well.
Come closer, call to it. Don't have long, I say yes. And I hold you now, wrap you in my touch. Remember the comes around, I'll be there with my heart as deep as you can feel. We don't got long, let's not pause, cause now it's getting real. Hold you close, don't let you go, till that moment's gone. When love comes around. And I'll fuck up my day with you by staying up all night. Cause it's worth every moment if I have you in mind. And time is slits, but when I kiss you, time stands still. And it's silent. Sweet like Damiana, songwriting with you by the fire. The city skyline vibrant because we're up on Highland. It felt like hell yeah is right after hellos. So here I am, yeah, there we go and we bliss out. Time in the hourglass, it slips down, but I ain't tripping now because I'm with you now. Candles lit, sipping cups of cacao. Look at us now, just finished love comes around. So that's just that piece, but I want to speak to all of y'all. It's been six years since I've been here. To stand on stage, what a blessing it is to be here. The power of us, this is 50, wait till it's 100. The power is us, the power in numbers. You can't defeat us, cause my heart is stardust. Come on, baby. Still just love, you cannot defeat I. Cause I has always been, forever will be We can stand whatever weather and winds come our way Celebrate always, family And we celebrate Changing times, many blinds But we see, the future's ours Write it with the words I speak Written in the stars, our hearts are mount Climb over any mountains The best times are coming, I'm running Towards the gates of freedom I love y'all, I stand here Ready, our genius, our bliss, our love, let it on flow. There's nothing you could do in the world outside to stop the love that's coming for y'all. So here it is, to celebrate the 50th, to say thank you. May our lights be stronger than ever. May we be daring greater than ever. May we celebrate each other. Our light shining right now is pretty significant. So let's be genius and brilliant and fuck it, let's just rip it. Sky's the limit. Nothing can touch this. I love you so much. Thank you all for coming to shine your light. Happy 50th, y'all. Yeah. Uh, I'm real excited. I've got like three public service announcements. I hope I can remember what they are. Uh, first one, the shitters. <laughs> Does, uh, the sh Does everyone know where the shitters are? Yeah. Well, some people may, some people not. But uh, let's see where we are now. I'm a little disoriented, but uh, would someone point to Space Camp over here? There, there's the Lovin' Ovens, right? Space Camp right over there. Space Camp's right over there? Okay, yeah. cool. So you just go down the trail towards Main Meadow, and on your left there's a path, and then you go to the shitter. We actually could use some signs that will uh, say the following. What you do is you, you uh, you know, actually, it's some people say you should wash your hands before you go to the shitter because you're gonna touch the toilet paper and whatnot. But you basically uh, squat, shit, you cover it with the the lime. We actually have lime up there. What that does, that actually breaks it down. I could explain the science if you want to later, but uh, we need to put the lime in there so it breaks down because it's not in the top six inches of the uh, organic layer. 
Then you uh, sprinkle the uh, over your shit and the toilet paper. And if some family didn't hear about that and they just like shat in there, you sprinkle lime over theirs too. Or you know, there's a limited amount of lime, and so then you uh, uh, then you wash your hands. And then if there's a lime, toilet paper, or a hand wash missing, you go like wherever you need to go, like this kitchen or that kitchen, to get what you need to have the. Uh, to restock the shitter. This only works because we're all volunteering to do this and we all need help to do this. So please help and uh, help us do this. So that's the shitters. Uh, make sure you do shit in the shitters uh, because otherwise it's not very sanitary. We want to break the shit fly food connection. That's why we cover it with lime to not only help break it down but to keep the flies off of it. And if you see flies on there, give it an extra dose of lime. And maybe help just just refill the lime anyway. We got bags of it uh, at Main Supply. Knock knock. Who's there? Three, 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 Morning. If you want to get up for something, now's your time. Focus! Focus! Um, how do hippies want to be addressed? Wow! Oh, your highness. <laughs> 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 Sticky buns. Yeah. I'm hoping that that's going to happen, right? Dad? My manifestation powers are turned on. Right? Even a rainbow can have a dark streak. Yeah. Well, that's our responsibility. All brothers and all the sisters. Our sisters aren't going to feel like they can let their true beauty shine unless we make them feel safe. That's our responsibility. Our next performer appears to be a symmetrical biped. I don't know if the stars are out or not. They're probably not, but uh, oh, they are! Hey. Anyway, it's a great, it's a great nighttime fire magic rainbow song. <laughs>
So I was born and raised in a town called Tacoma in Washington, which is a pretty bustling city. Um, and I've always kind of been a nature kid at heart. And I was blessed to actually live right next to this little piece of nature in the city um, that was the thing called China Lake. I referred to it as the Lake Let. And this little lakelet, little chunk of nature was untouched, but it was within a city block. And on two sides of it were two four lane roads going either direction. And on the back of it was a highway. So when you're in the midst of this beautiful little forest, you can hear all the chaos and bustle of the city. <coughs> and so this poem came to me while I was there and it's called The Birds Versus Highway 16. I was sitting at my lakeside spot in the middle of the middle of the city's forest rot. As I sat on this rock, the birds my breath caught. Mystified was I by the truth the birds taught. Surrounded was I by ivy, the silent crawly creeping root of change. Surrendered to the sound behind me, the highway muttering a sound quite strange. Machines and hundreds fussing by, struggling to stay in place. The hustle of the city then was all my ears could take. I tried to focus on the bird's song for my heart's sake. From one note came two, through to what the bakers do, onto many dozens more until a roar was out the door. The bird's voice was stronger and has lasted years longer than 16's hustled blunder that resembles force like thunder. This echoes on for eons, producing tons of reruns, but the cadence in the songs exhibits who is right and who is wrong. This battle clearly brings a resolution, assisting nature to arrive at conclusion. The birds and the cars both leave weaving little scars, but the birds sound like truth, evolution. Most of all, when I'm lonely, you're the only one who answers when I call. I know Jaja shall protect me, though the mighty, though I spawn, I shall praise John. Everlasting more than any over all. Say, my brother, all I left me, I'm a mother, I know it. And everything I have, somebody take it away. What more could I do? And what more could I say? But go down on my knees and pray. I say, my sister, all I left me, I'm a mother, I know it. And everything I have, somebody take it away. What more could I do? And what more could I say? I go down on my knees and pray. I put my trust in the Almighty. Wa 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 wa. I load the road rocky and the way very la 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 la. I have to chant so many sa 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 sa. Now watch a man. Just a song may get me inspired. Sa 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 sa. No one in this world can a man defend. Pa 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 pa. But the one in Zion. Now watch a man. Now come along. Say me brother, all I love for you, me move my gun away. And everything I have, somebody take it away. What more could I do? What more could I say? I go down on my knees and pray. I woke up this morning. I couldn't even see. No one was there to look at me. Oh, she's gone. So far away. Just how long and how far I can see. But there's one thing. I know that deep down inside, Cha Cha never leave I alone. At the times when I'm weakest, my trust in the Lord is the one thing that leads me on. I saw me chant them, send me brother all I left me, and my sister gone away. And everything I had, somebody take it away. What more could I do? What more could I say? But go down on my knees and pray. I say my mother, all I left me and my father gone away. And everything I have, somebody take it away. What more could I do? What more could I say? 
We'll go down the money and pray I never put no trust in no baby la 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 Them full of a temptation I have to talk to me so 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 Now watch your man Just so me get me inspiration so 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 No one in this world can I run the pen pa 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 But the one in Zion Them watch your man Them come along Say my brother all I left my young mama gone away And everything I had somebody take it away What more could I do and what more could I say But go down on my knees and pray I Say my brother all I left my young mama gone away And everything I had somebody take it away What more could I do what more could I say But go down on my knees at the times when I am weakest I shall thank ya most of all Jolly the only one who answers when I call. I know Jaja shall protect me, though they mighty, though I small. I shall praise Jaja everlasting. More than any over all. I saw me chant them. Send me brother Allah left me on my mum gone away. And everything I have, somebody take it away. What more could I do? What more could I say? I go down on my knees and pray. I put my trust in the Almighty. Wa 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 wa. I'll only roll rocky on the way. Very la 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 la. I have to chant so many songs, as 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 as. Now watch your man. Never put no trust in no baby, la 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 la. Them full up a temptation, sha 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 sha. You better chant so many songs, as 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 as. Now watch your man. Say my brother, all I left me and my sister gone away, and everything I had, somebody take it away. What more could I do? What more could I say? But go down on my knees at the times when I am. Jaja shall protect me, though they mighty, and though I small, I shall praise Jah everlasting more than any over. Some say tiny camp isn't a big deal, but I'm not so sure. What do you think? Thank you again for tuning in to the A-side of Totally High Holy Rainbow Colored Spirit Hawk of Awakened Manifestation, Part 9. My name is Puffy Clouds That The Way. I hope you've enjoyed the journey thus far. For a playlist of this episode, as well as to listen to many more episodes in the Muddy Boots archive, visit muddybootsradio.org. Also, if you feel so moved, subscribe to Muddy Boots wherever you get your podcasts. All right, be sure to check out the B-side. See you over yonder.
Thank you.